all right so a lot of people have been kind of scared of boulder but we have the boulder counter right here and even the thor counter being blue hauser now if you an og on my channel you already know man i have done some shenanigans with blue hauser in the past especially with characters who rely on pretty much critting to do their big boy damage so we are going to be using blue hauser if you don't know what blue hauser does pretty much based on his crit resistance you'll be able to, to decrease the enemy's crit chance and if you don't know pretty much Baldur is a character who wants to crit because then he has super high crit damage to pretty much nuke the enemy so if he can't crit his damage is going to be pretty pretty trash on his counter card so we are going to be using hauser who is going to be using this set featuring hp plus um crit resist the crit resist rolls just so we have enough to um lower all of Baldur's crit chance and i believe he has like 98 percent or 100 percent crit chance on Baldur. so right now we had 120 point three percent of crit resistance so we're going to lower in the enemy's crit chance by 120 percent which is more than enough to kind of hard counter Baldur. so we're going to be using this team obviously we got to use hauser on the human team or he's going to end up being gone um we have Eskinar, you have arthur and then you also have percival in the back so again hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully we can get we control some players with this combination all right let's see what we got here we, we ready to counter some boulders around here boys so we got blue hauser the goat himself ready to counter uh so with this pretty much his crit resist is going to be super lord uh yeah I ain't gonna lie this is a this is a non-damaging debuff i don't think i get hit by this because it's non-damaging got bail the dodge food and then watch balder damage right here since he can't crit and i guess we can counter thor as well yep no crits and that's a sever that's a sever counter that's a sever counter and he couldn't crit i technically thor gets also a counter as well too because she can't crit at either for her passive because her crit chance is lord if she was smart she'd probably target hauser <clears throat> golly stock like damage is looking a little bit mid i ain't gonna lie to you we don't care about hauser being stunned like that was gonna happen regardless uh i guess you can go for this this and then this as well okay you got a stun the god judgment but he's pretty much dead golly where's that damage boulder boulder where's that damage oh my god boulder you're not hitting like you like you're supposed to what's happening what's happening boulder I thought she was like broken. That's 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 weak numbers right there, Baller. I can't lie to you. That ain't gonna do nothing, man. Dang, Baller, you hitting different gang. What's happening? This ain't this ain't the Baller I know. This ain't the boulder I know. I ain't gonna lie to you. Got him. And can we get the... Yep, no damage. Because how's it countering? Yep, and you're gone. And how's it for the win animation? Ah, he, he, he forfeit too late. Oh, yeah, too early. GG. All right. Oh, it's the same guy. This is my buddy right here. Oh, nah. Like, I don't know if y'all know this, but this is my homie right here. All right? Because he has to be my homie to get clapped like this. I ain't gonna lie to you. And again, Thor is also getting countered as well because she can't crit. Even when she gets her Thunder God Judgment, her crits isn't going to matter that much. Actually, no. Wait, is it? Is it that? Nah, because when Bond usually marks her, she still can't crit. I wonder if that happens with the Thunder God Judgment though, because Bomb Mark is like a little bit different, right? 
Oh wow, he's attacking pretty aggressive right now. Oh wow. So he just said, yo, let me just give you the Eskner boost. He said, yo, let me just give you the Eskner boost. Cause he he did abuse uh I ain't gonna lie, he did abuse us. Again, is that gonna save him? No. Especially because um Like we already I mean that did do a lot of damage though. Okay. Alright, see ya. See ya. Alright. Alright, Baller, you just by yourself now. Maybe I should put a Red Tarmian Link on um Hauser. Just in case people do know how to counter this. Golly, he's throwing this thing. It's crazy, huh? Well, it's a good thing that um it's a good thing Arthur is a HP based character. So this should be GG. Okay. But I say he shouldn't heal that much. <laughs> yeah, GG my boy. Alright, I'm gonna put Red Tarmy Link on Arthur. Not Arthur, uh, Hauser. Cause I don't want that to happen again where he did they just nuke my uh <laughs> by Hauser. Alright, let's see. All right, we got Balder, and this time I got Red Tarmiel on my Hauser this time around. Also, I gotta like remember that um because I forgot that um I didn't have uh, <laughs> I had Red Tarmiel in my other matches on Escanor, which pretty much I even have no pure damage for Escanor, honestly. Oh my God, he's using Hawk Oslo. That's way too much defense. Okay, no, it's not. It's Nanashi. How did he hit me so hard? Like even the, the the Thor team from before didn't even hit me that hard with with that guy. Well, he basically has like no crits. I just put Ludociel on Arthur just because I could have put Ritz Ariel on Arthur, but it technically don't be mattering uh, that much. So with this, again, Balder is getting a hard counter. And Fatori is also getting countered as well because he he couldn't have a chance to um to crit. So Fatori pass is not even stacked right now. Okay. I mean Balder still does really good damage, man. He still really does. He he still does a lot of damage. Um his so I'm like, it's kind of useless right now because she's disabled. So I'm not really worried about her. Balder is very low in terms of HP though, because of us um, infecting. It's just that sometimes I want to like have Ludociel on Arthur just because you never know what could happen. Mm, maybe I should have kept Red Tarmio Link on Arthur. That man is super low. Okay. Yeah, that's the only issue when you have like Red Tarmian Link when you don't have Red Tarmian Link on Arthur. Because his HP becomes super low. Now he doesn't have no stance, so he's gonna lose regardless. Yeah, he just forfeits. Dang. I wanted the I wanted the Hauser win animation, man. GG. Alright. Let's see what we got here. All right, we got a Thor this time around, which I guess you can say is a little bit, be a little bit of a problem. All right, dodge food? No dodge food. He said, yo, I want to take all this damage. Okay. Now, he can crit. He can crit, which could be nice. 
Um, I thought about even going for an infect play. Smart. He goes for Hauser. That's why I make sure I put a real timing link on Hauser because that usually what ends up happening is Hauser gets targeted. And I'm just sitting there like, bro, what do I even do? So I'm kind of like trying to preserve Hauser as much as possible. All right, so I guess we can go for this. Uh, we should still do a lot of damage right here. And I guess we can go for this as well. Because we're going to have our ultimate on Escanor. So either way, it's going to be GG. That guy going to be so upset when he realized he can't crit with Thor. Because if he can't crit with Thor, it's going to be... He's going to be out of luck. Because he's going to lower my crit defense, but... What's the point of lowering my crit defense if you can't crit? Yep, Pretoria can't crit. No damage. And what what is lowering my crit defense going to do if your Thor can't crit? She can't crit. Dude, watch this. Yep. She can't crit. And he forfeits instantly. Yep, GG. All right, we got boys. I right, balled her for my last match. Pretty cool. Um. Okay, so we, we just gonna go for our. I'm thinking about going for like an infect play. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna go for this then. And this, because you know, blue Houser is always like pretty fun to use in PvP. I remember the good old days where I used to use them just to counter like Sariel and stuff like that. Or technically any crit type of unit. Like he's just so much fun in PvP. Because no one really expects Hauser to be like that crazy. But there's some low-key fire characters that um they have potential. But because of their stats, they always get held back the most. Which is a shame, you know. So many fun characters that are in the game, but unfortunately you, you can't use them because of how weak their stats are. Like I remember, like a someone million used to be such a fun character to play around with when people didn't just move cards a million times. But he definitely could have a little bit of thrive in PP if maybe he would have got like an LR or something instead of like Lost Vein. But I think the Summon Melius passive was, is a lot stronger than what Lost Bane could have been in PvP. Even though what Lost Bane was kind of meta. But Lost Bane was kind of more so meta because of like being like one of the highest CC character units and stuff like that. And then having an infect. Now most characters have infect or hit pretty hard or have high CC. So it's not like, okay, one character has it. We have multiple characters that technically have it. Hopefully it doesn't kill. Oh, this might kill. Uh, hopefully it hits Sabnock right here. Uh, hopefully Hauser lives. I said Hauser. Nanashi. Okay. So I want to go for the Hauser win animation, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not going to lie. I don't think that's going to happen, but... We're going to try our best. We're going to try our best. Maybe I go for my ultimate right here. We can try to pull it off. All right. Lower his HP a bit. And here comes Hauser. Huh, huh. Lower his defense. And this should be enough to kill. Because, you know, we had to do it, guys. All right. We had to give Howard the win animation for the end. It was only... It was only right. Boosh. Uppercut. All right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe again. This movie, guys, I'm out. Peace.